In this video, I'm going to show you how to create custom shapes in Photoshop, and this is coming up. Hi everybody, Innocent here and welcome to the channel. Over here we make videos like this. If that is something that sounds like you're interested, kindly consider subscribing. So sometimes you realize that you want to make use of a particular shape in Photoshop, but Photoshop doesn't provide it for you. Well, in this video, I'm going to walk you through how to put different shapes together to form your own. The technique is very simple. You just need to take a look at the shape you want to create or the shape you've seen from somewhere. You want to recreate it. You find available shapes in Photoshop, you put them together and then you can create that. So first off, let's start with the very basics. So if you want to create shapes in Photoshop, of course, you go to the shape tool and then you have a lot of them over here. At first, when you go to the custom shape tools, you are given a lot of tools, but this time around, it has been limited. Unless, of course, you download some of them, which I've not downloaded any of them. But these kind of shapes that I'm talking about are more like, like shapes that you really want to create yourself. So let's take, for instance, this particular rounded rectangle tool over here. You realize that when you choose your rounded rectangle tool, and then you set your radius to around say 200 when you create your shape you are going to get something like this now let's double click on the layer thumbnail and change the color to red uh, let me use this color right over here now you see this looks good okay but what if you want to make the edges a part of the edges say straight the other side curved like it looks in this shape you can do it easily all that you need to do is because you want to make the other side of it straight you can go for your rectangle tool and create another shape so let's select the rectangle tool for instance and then we are going to create a rectangle around here you just need to make sure that it is aligned or it is on the same line with the first one that you created right now after you've had it like this what you need to do is you zoom in and then you can take your time to make sure that it fits right at the edge of the second one and then you can drag this side too because of your grid lines you'll be able to see whether it's on the line the edge or not now you're going to have something like this which is very simple now if you select the two by holding control so control and select the rounded rectangle you press control e you're going to have a full shape like this one okay now, if we press Ctrl T and rotate this, we can have something like this. And because you use Ctrl E to merge it, you can still change the color to any color at all. Or even if you want to add a gradient overlay to it, you can go to the blending mode and add your gradient to it. That is simple, right? You can press Ctrl T once again and make it smaller. These type of shapes can be used for when for instance when you are creating a flyer you want to put a date a time or something equally important you can make use of this you see this same shape when you right click and flip it vertical it changes to this position okay now you press ctrl t and then you can open it up slightly like that let's add one more shape to it and see what we get so let's get the triangle tool over here and then we are going to create a perfect triangle now let's take this up you press ctrl t right click and then you can flip it vertical now you're going to put this here and you have another shape you can select the two press ctrl e and you have another shape which is very very simple as well another basic one that you can do is you choose your rounded rectangle to again let's give it a color okay so you see the top part here is rounded but you don't want the bottom part to also be rounded you want it to be straight okay so ideally what you want to do here is you want to split this into two to get the other side of it straightened so in this case what you can do is first off if you choose for instance the rectangular marquee tool and then you decide to get rid of this part because you see how straight this part is means it is going to be straightened but if you delete it it is not going to allow you because the content of the layer is not directly editable you cannot directly edit shapes in photoshop now what you need to do next is you go to the layer you right click and then you can rasterize the layer okay now let's go for the rectangular marquee tool again and try to split this and boom you have a shape like this if you press ctrl t right click and then you flip it vertical 
you're going to get something like this which you can also use to depict information date time venue and others now back to the first one that we created you remember we added the rectangle to it make sure that it is on the same line like this and let's change the color to the same color so that it can be on the same line if you want to make the other end of it also exactly like this side how do you go about it first off you already have your rectangle okay so you can easily make a duplicate of the rectangle so control j and then you can bring it to this side now at this point you're also going to take your time to make sure that it is on the same line and here too is on the same line and then you are going to select the three so control plus shift and then control e press control t and then you can transform it you have one full rectangle now you can press control t flip this vertical or you can even flip it horizontal and then you are going to have it on different directions now there are times you just don't want your rectangles to be straight for instance you choose your rectangle tool and you draw a rectangle you just don't want it to be straight like this because it is more cliche people have been using it so you want to style it up a little bit okay now let me go for another color one thing you can do is you can make a part of it cut off okay so how do you go about this remember i told you that you can't directly edit your shapes so if you want to do that you want to right click and rasterize this and we can go for the polygonal lasso tool any cutting tool of course that you want to use so we place our cursor here and then we can send this one directly up there you left click you come back to where you started and then you can delete it you can press ctrl t transform this and then make another duplicate and put it somewhere around here you can right click go to the blending options you choose your color overlay and then you can give it another color see this color right over here so if you have an image like this you can place it right over here and press ctrl t transform it okay and then you can choose your rectangular marquee tool and also get rid of this part oops so let's go again yes and then you are going to hit on delete and now you can have something spicy like this instead of putting it on the normal straight rectangle always and always you can as well do this for circles and ellipse in photoshop it is ellipse so you can choose your elliptical tool or ellipse tool the circle tool and then you can double click on it give it a color okay i click ok and just like we did to the rectangle you can as well do same here so let's go for our triangle create a nice triangle right there and once we bring it here you can press ctrl t transform it once you put it here you have something like this select the two ctrl e and then you have one shape you can press ctrl t right click and flip the triangle horizontal and once you put it here you are going to have another shape like that there are instances to where you want just one part of the rectangle to be curved okay so you go for your rectangle to you have your rectangle here okay you don't want all the parts to be straight you just want the bottom part of it to be curved how do you go about this in this case it means that you're going to put the rectangle to and the rounded rectangle to together at first you were able to adjust just one side of it like say 40 and then it will affect all of it by this time around if you adjust it you know you know what happens so we are going to go for a rounded rectangle too as well we create a rounded rectangle like so and then we are going to put it right over here okay so we just want this side to be rounded so we are going to select the rounded rectangle you realize that there is just a portion of the rectangle that is showing now okay so now what we need to do is we are going to select our rectangle right click and then we can rasterize the layer now hold control select your rounded rectangle it makes a selection of it what you are going to do then is you're going to press ctrl shift and then i so that it inverses it and then you can select your eraser tool so e for the eraser if you are not so sure of yourself you just have to use the layer mask okay so the rectangle that we've rasterized you're just going to brush that off like that 
and once you press control d you put the two together control e and then you have this at this point it is only the other part of it that is rounded so this roundness was determined by the rounded rectangle that we chose so for instance if you choose a rounded rectangle and you make it like 300 okay you are going to see that it will be more rounder or it will be more round it's rounder even an english word you realize that it will be more round as compared to the first one that we did and just like this one you can press ctrl t flip it horizontal vertical or any side that you want it to go you just need to create it for one side and you can start tossing it around flipping it here and there so let's see what happens if you rotate this clockwise and flip it vertical no you want it horizontal right and then we open it up something simple like this you get it and you can apply any effect that you want to apply on this for instance you go to the gradient the blending mode gradient and then we can apply a gradient on it it's that simple right yeah so in a nutshell that is how you can basically put a couple of shapes together and then you come up with your own shapes or your custom shapes so just a recap you just need to identify the custom shape that you want to create you come to photoshop you identify the two shapes or the three shapes or the shapes that you can put together to get that and basically sometimes you just need to rasterize it or just put it together straight away and you are good to go i'll be learning something out of this video if this video was helpful subscribe to the channel will be so very much appreciated thank you so much for sticking around and i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye